I'm addicted to those grab bag watch lots. I bought a bunch of batteries last night, like hundreds of batteries, cheap batteries. I hope they all work. I think they're going to work. They're not, probably they're only going to last for like a year as opposed to five years for like a energizer. But I have a lot of batteries coming to me in the mail. If I can find another grab bag of used watches for 50 bucks, for five bucks a pound, I'm going to buy it. Um, and then... I'm going to go through this box right here. I, I didn't even know what it was. Did you get to see that? Yeah, you did. So it's it's podcasting stuff. I uh, I get these emails all the time where they're like, hey, do you want our products in the mail? We'll talk, you talk about them. And I always say, sure, send me your stuff. And they actually did. Um, can you see that? May, Manoa? Mayona? May, Mayano? Mayono? <laughs> so the podcast... It's coming back, baby! <laughs> We're gonna... We have to. I said I would. Talk about it, at least. So, um... What do you want to hear me talk about in the podcast? I'll do it on my front porch when I drink coffee in the morning. That'll be good. But let's... Let's get some watches and probably some other stuff. All right, there's one more. But I think they want 100 bucks for it. And... The last one was 50 So, <laughs> maybe I'm... I'm not that... I'm not that into it. Okay, so I talked to her, and she said, oh no, it's only 50 bucks. So it's actually only 50 bucks, and that means I'm buying it. Man, that's a really cool bike. Looks like it's a vintage Huffy Express, based on the color scheme, probably late 70s, but I don't know. Single speed, sand front, Huffy, Huffman, Dayton, Ohio. I don't know anything about bikes. How much is this worth, you think? They want 62 bucks for it. Probably you could get 100 bucks at least locally, just looking at how it looks. If I wasn't actively trying to <laughs> downsize, I might consider it. What would you do? All right, just, I was in and out in like 15 minutes. So I got the watches for 50 bucks. This for three bucks, it sells for about 30 bucks on eBay and I'll sell on Amazon for about 50. So there is, you know, two thirds of that money right there. These two DVDs, for some reason, this sells for 25 bucks on Amazon. Sales rank is like 8,000. It's really scratched up. It's gonna be like five minutes on my Eco Pro, which is, I wouldn't have bought it if I had like a JFJ Easy Pro. But with the Eco Pro, it should, I'll show you if I can open it up with one hand. Um, it should get these scratches out in five minutes. Th that right there is what I'm worried about. Really deep scratch. Um, no clue why it's so rare. That one goes for about 15, 20 bucks. And then these two books should go for about probably 10 or 12 bucks and then about 20 bucks for this book. So hopefully, I, you know, this only was two bucks for these four media and then three bucks there, four bucks there. So that's $6. Hopefully that's $6 sells almost you know like a month or two and that pays for all of this i saw this polar watch here i've sold this same same exact watch for about 30 bucks um i don't know i'm kind of just like excited and like riding this watch high so we'll see we'll see what happens i might go back to my warehouse or maybe i'll try and find more watches there's one more thrift store across town that has deals like this and i'm in a good mood so <laughs> that's that's a, yeah let's go there all right, second thrift store. I'm just gonna pop in, look to see if they have any of those grab bags of watches, and then check out books probably, and I'll get out of here because I got a list stuff today. Here's the jewelry section. I don't see any grab bags. The one thing I do like, this watch right here. It looks old, looks cool. I want 10 bucks for it. You can see in the reflection, $10. Um, but I'm gonna pass and go over the books, I think, because I saw some new Gaylords of books just get, you can hear them right now. They're, they're bringing them out. So that should be fun to go through. This book's really cool. I just found this down here. This is the 1973 Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson. Not the first edition, but it's the first paperback. So a really, really cool find, I think. Here's something cool that caught my eye. The brand is Mitchell and & Ness, and it's a 67 Kings jersey, I guess, but I'm pretty sure it's fake. Um, it isn't a terrible fake, but when you look on the back, that's some pretty sloppy work. And those seams, uh, and just everything about it, it's not very precise. 
So I think this is uh, counterfeit. This is pretty cool as well. It's a uh, Harlem Globetrotters basketball from Baden or Baden. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, these are ones they sold at the exhibition matches. I remember watching them when I was a kid uh, in Flint, watching them play against, I think, the high school team. I don't really remember, actually. But they would sign these after the games. And the signed ones go for about 50 bucks. This one is not signed, uh, but it's still pretty neat. I'm not going to buy it, but it was cool to have that memory uncovered when I saw it. Okay, I'm at a Walmart right now. Why I'm at a Walmart? Because I had to get out of that thrift store. I bought the books. They're back here. I'll show them to you back at the warehouse. But there was just a dude who was absolutely nuts there. He was. He starts off talking to me. He says, where were you during 9-11? Like, that's like his icebreaker. And he goes on to talk about how he has all these famous ex-wives who were like bankers and the daughters of colonels, but they all beat him. And so that's why they're divorced or something and then he goes on to say but the problem isn't with women beating husbands it's something about guns and like don't have a discussion about guns and I don't care I'm just saying he said that and then he goes on to talk about all these cousins and nephews and brothers and sisters and ex-wives stepchildren and all that stuff he has who were in the military and this guy is saying that one of his sons killed Saddam Hussein one of his sons killed Saddam bin Laden one of his cousins caught Pablo Escobar. One of his best friends was in the 96 Olympics when a bomb went off and he lost his hearing and he had to take over his business because he's a, a, a patriot. I don't know. This guy was just nuts. And so I, I got out of there because I, I don't have time. I mean, this is like nonstop talking to me for like 15 minutes. And I was like, dude, listen, you are very interesting, but I, I have work to do. And he just turns around and starts talking to somebody else. Like, does that ever happen to you? You ever talk to crazy people at thrift stores? I, I'm gonna get some potato salad, I'm starving. And then we'll go back to the warehouse and I, I'll show you the books, but just like, man, that was nuts. Okay, we're back at the warehouse, man. I, I'll, I'll clean it up uh, eventually. Here's everything we got. Here's the $50. Let's see how much it weighs compared to, uh, I think this one's lighter. They both were 50 bucks, so um, I, if I had to guess, I'd say 8 pounds, 10 ounces, if I had to guess. Oh, way off, 7 pounds, so I paid a bit more. Um, I still feel good about it. Here's the books. You saw the cool Hunter S. Thompson books, some old hymnals, old books. This, I barely ever sell textbooks. Textbooks are so hard to find, uh, but this one, ooh, does it still have the... I don't know. What, well, whatever. Um, they they just pulled out a um, a brand new pallet when I got there, and in between being <laughs> ambushed by that crazy guy, I did find some good books. So I'm gonna list these. I think there's about probably, let's see, it was twelve dollars and fifty cents. Each book is fifty cents a piece. So is that like thirteen or twenty three books? I mean, um, twenty three books, I believe. Oh, and a Bible. I got a Bible in there. Those are free. So about 25 books. List all those. I have to list this still from the last haul. Uh, and then I have to FBA a whole bunch of small electronics. And uh, some of these computer games right here. Man alive! What a fun day! Well, on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up the video if you're new. Or if you're not new, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, I hope you didn't go. Hope you didn't leave. We gotta check the watch. Does it, did the time change? Yes! Yes! So even though I. I still can't hear it. But the time has changed. So this watch works. Nice. Now we can go.